Hey, hello everyone. I'm gonna do a different sort of tutorial video here. I'm gonna show you how to super clean any sort of game cartridge here. And see, I got this very well used Donkey Kong Land 2 here. See, it's, yeah, then I even put a little tape over that because it's been wearing down. <laughs> So it's got, you know, it's got some darkness and, you know, grime in little areas and stuff like that. And But more importantly than anything else are the contacts of the game. This is what people typically do when they clean the games, is they just clean the contacts. They probably either use like a Q-tip and rubbing alcohol and your, or like one of these alcohol solutions, but... Thing that people might use also are these sorts of cleaning pads here. You get that doused with alcohol and then you slide it back and forth, yada yada yada, in the cartridge. But the issue with that is you can't really get the corners very easily. I'm trying to get this in the good lights. That's why I keep moving it back up here for you, but. <laughs> but yeah, it's very difficult to get those corners. And as you know, dirty contacts kind of make it difficult for games to work. You end up having to pop it in and out repeatedly and all sorts of issues. So how do you get those corners super cleaned? Well, what you could do is get yourself a set of security bit screwdrivers off of Amazon, like this 3.8 millimeter security bits, 4.5 millimeter, and a tri-wing screwdriver. And these are all basically the basics of getting into game cartridges. We only need the 3.8 here. And yeah, so let's uh, get one of those. You can also get into these cartridges using a uh, pair of pliers, but you kind of risk scratching the heck out of it. Not that this is in the best of shape anyway, but <laughs> but basically, yeah, if you, want, if you have an older cartridge and you want to get in it, this is the safest way to do so. And if it's difficult to get in there, like with just the bit <laughs> that I have here, uh, you can attach it to a screwdriver, obviously, because this is just a, a hexagon thing and you can just pop it in a screwdriver and get more torque out of it. But I have the hand strength to pull this off. So yeah, once you get your screw out, then your cartridge just assembles different ways depending on which system it is. In the case of a Game Boy, you slide... Oh, this is it's actually sticking. <laughs> I wonder what's in here. You slide this forward like that. See, it goes... Holy jeez, I've never felt one that slid like it. This thing's got to be really grimy. You slide it forward and then you lift it up. So let's see what is our grimy issues here. Mm, I'm just trying to get it on camera for you, but yeah, you, you can see like there's a uh, little giblets stuck along the side track there that were, yeah, that's probably what was hindering it from popping out and in relatively easily. So, uh, well, let's start with the circuit board first, because people, that's probably what people are mainly here for is the circuit board is, yeah, the circuit board is the heart and soul of the game in <laughs> the cases just the case and you can actually get replacement cases if you crack one or whatnot uh but yeah anyway uh see that the the pins on there that's the thing that you're looking to clean mainly and as you can tell there's some black on there from putting the cartridge in now just general dirt and grime over the, over the years of use and while you could use rubbing alcohol i prefer just Mr. Clean Magic Eraser, this is a really well used one, and just plain old water, just dampening it. And you go over the contacts carefully, don't don't touch the chips if you can help it. <laughs> and just go and just hold it by the very sides, because you know you don't wanna you don't wanna put your hands on the chips and get oils on them and stuff like that. I've never really seen the issues happen if someone did touch those you know, the chips with their bare hands or anything like that, but it's recommended that you don't, and I'm inclined to believe the electricians out there. <laughs> so I'm just kind of going to focus on doing it the quote-unquote right way, I guess you could say, and then, yeah, that looks pretty clean already. The Mr. Clean Magic Eraser does short work of contacts. <laughs> so I'm going to show you this up in the light here. Aside from the scratches that you can see from putting the cartridge in and out, actually there aren't that many scratches. It was just grime that we've seen there. Look at that. 
Yeah, this cartridge should work as good as new now, but we're super cleaning this, aren't we? So we're going to take a look around the circuit board and see if there's any more dust and grime. Like It looks like there's something spilled in here at one time. See the very, very edges of this here? I don't know if you, yeah, you see those little droplets? It, look, it looks like something got in there at one time, so this is probably the point where you'd like to use some of that alcohol. I got it a little bit saturated here on this, yeah, and just go over, maybe I need a little more saturation. <laughs> it dried a little bit between my uh, setup here, that's okay though. And uh, I touched the contact a little bit there, but well. <laughs> I mean, oh, it's okay to use alcohol on the contacts like that too, but it's it's just that I find a Mr. Clean with water does it well as well if you don't have that sort of thing. Mm, that side looks pretty good. Let's take a look at, oh yeah, there's definitely some, ooh, ooh. Ooh, okay, maybe I should get the Mr. Clean for this side. <laughs> so we're just gonna go over that. I'll do one half at a time. Here. You notice I'm trying to move the cartridge at the right angle so that you can see what the heck I'm doing. I got the light source right above here because I need to be able to shine the light on things to be able to actually accurately show you stuff, but the way that my setup here is, it's kind of difficult to film and do work on it, so... <laughs> It's fine for an example video, though, but this is not the ideal way that I would be cleaning cartridges, let me tell you. <laughs> so, okay, let's get the... Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> let's get this out of here. Mm. And, you know, depending on what gets spilled on the inside, could end up being nasty and corrosive as well. Like, say, if someone dribbled soda on there. Yeah, that could cause issues, and that's definitely something you want to get rid of. I don't know if that's... But yeah, I think it did actually corrode it a little bit there. I thought I thought this stuff that I was scrubbing off was on there, but it looks like there's a little bit of circuit board showing there. Hopefully that won't really make a difference, but it probably shouldn't because it's been sitting like that for a while um, with whatever this substance is on here. Yeah, maybe I should put a little alcohol here. That's not, not really going to hurt anything. It might actually help get some of the... Yeah. Mm. It makes like a squeaking sound. It's like squeaky clean. <laughs> and I like having a, a cloth underneath here because it keeps it all... Um, you know, and you don't have to worry about scratching things or anything like that. And okay, that looks, I guess, as good as I'll get it for the internals, because I think this is all, like, light corrosion of sorts on the finish. But yeah, as long as I get the, the corrosion stuff off of there, it should keep running like new. I mean, I, I guess I could put electrical tape over that, because it's not going to affect the way the game plays. This is on the back side, but yeah, I figured... It should be fine, I think, probably. So let's just set that aside here, and now we're going to work on... Oh! Oh! This. This, was, this is actually, come to think of it, behind this, because this is how it fits in. Yeah, it fits in just like this. It drops into the bottom portion first. So this was actually underneath this. So that's the corrosive stuff or whatever that got into... Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, so let's... Uh, we need to get rid of that. <laughs> so let's start working at that here. And... Yeah, I wonder if I should be using this or maybe something less abrasive than a tissue. I mean, a tissue isn't really that abrasive, but it's, it might scratch the finish slightly. But this is on the inside of the case, so it doesn't really matter all that much, I guess. But yeah, wow, this is, this is way more than I bargained for. <laughs> Especially since I had difficulties even sliding the case apart. So that's like, what the heck happened to this poor thing at one point? <laughs> well, at the very least, once we're done with it, it's going to be working as good as new, hopefully. <laughs> the uh, contacts, you know, where the 
the cartridge actually connects to the game system itself are the main things that you want to be cleaning over anything, I guess. But it doesn't hurt to do a thorough clean thusly that I, like what I'm doing right now. As I said, this is like a super thorough cleaning of how to get these cartridges looking and feeling pretty good here. <laughs> well, I didn't really state that, but yeah, if you're super cleaning, it's going to make it look and feel a lot better. I mean, you don't want to be touching some sort of kid saliva or something like that. It's kind of, yeah, kind of nauseating if you think about it. <laughs> uh, so that side looks good. That top looks... It's so hard to get it in the camera's frame because I'm so close to this thing. But you get the idea, I think, of how to clean the old casing. Ooh, casing. I don't know if this is going to work because this is like embedded in the scratches. But, well, let's just go up and down in the direction of the scratches and see if I can dislodge some of that junk. <laughs> Flip it around. Mm, mm, I think some of it's coming off. I'd prefer to have it all due to my OCD, but <laughs> sometimes you just gotta live with what you got. And yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get that any cleaner without actually gouging into the plastic. Cause this, see, like this black dot here. This is actually listen. Yeah, that's in in the middle of a bunch of scratches, and I don't really wanna, <laughs> you know. Just kind of, I don't want to scratch it all, otherwise I'll make the scratches deeper. And yeah, I think I'm just going to have to live with that. Let's see what the top of the case is like now. Uh, that's actually not that bad looking. You see that? It's, it's glossy, it's clean. It's just like it's all on the other side for the most part. I mean, there's a little bit of stuff here. That was causing the case to have difficulties getting open is <laughs> normally they just they just kind of slide open and close naturally but yeah this one this one was uh, a little bit stuck and i can see why uh you may also want to use a little slightly dampened scrub brush in such areas just kind of go in there and wipe off the excess mm, yeah, any, anywhere water splashes i suppose like what what is that what is that as like a blue it's a, a piece of candy or something <laughs> you just never know what you're going to find in a cartridge i tell you <laughs> i suppose if it was a like a piece of candy of some sort it probably would make the cartridge stick a whole lot more like that so that would make sense but who knows what it actually was i'm only assuming candy is you know, people play them while they're eating or something like that. They aren't, like, playing them around glue or something like that. And that, and that blue piece was stuck. Oh, there there it is again. Dang it. Get off. It was on the... <laughs> it was on the tissue and I wiped it back on. But, yeah. It's not really something that people... You know, they don't intentionally misuse... I mean, abuse their cartridges, I should say. So, it's just something that just kind of accumulates over time. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this off here on this corner. Maybe I'll have to try the Mr. Clean again because it's slightly abrasive. Yeah, I wouldn't really recommend the Mr. Clean on the case. Because it'll kind of probably scratch it, but this is on the very seam. And yeah, maybe I'll just leave that because it's not really... It just looks like a stain of some sort. I could probably carve into it with Mr. Clean with enough passes, but eh, that seems pretty good, I think. And of course, check the other side. Uh, well, mm, 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 mm. Let's put a little bit in here and leave that to soak while I work on the the rest of it here. Obviously, try not to get any alcohol on the label or that might end up peeling up because, you know, the, the glue and whatnot. So let's just kind of work around that carefully. Uh, maybe even use your fingernail if there's any dirt in the corners and stuff like that. But this doesn't look all that bad on this half. Just looks like it needed that bottom half of whatever the heck got spilled on the inside of the thing. The poor thing. The poor thing. I should try 
getting into this with a scrub brush. Basically, do whatever you need to get the grime out of each crevice without damaging anything further. <laughs> That's the whole idea of it. And just try and do stuff gradually, you know, until you really have to get into it. You know, just do it gradually so that you don't have to, um, like, you're not rushing or anything like that because you don't want to kind of rush it and then you end up scratching the case or maybe putting too much pressure and cracking the case. I don't know. <laughs> it's actually pretty hard to genuinely break a case uh, or any sort of Nintendo game or game cartridge for that matter, I should say, because they're, they're built pretty tough. They're built for chucking into your backpack on a hiking excursion across rugged terrain in all sorts of humidity and stuff like that. So... <laughs> All right, I'm going to I'm going to just say for the sake of the video that's clean cuz my OCD is going to be all over that all day long. So, let's just put this back together and we just reverse the steps. Just do that and let's see how this goes together now. Oh. Oh, so much smoother. Oh, look at that. Oh. Yes, that was it. <laughs> Flip it over, you know, once you have the the thing all locked in place. Well, it's not really a lock so much as it is. It just slides under a tab. And I grab my 3.8. So <laughs> this would probably be easier with a magnetic screwdriver to hold it in, you know. But eh, this is fine. It doesn't really require that that much force, and it's not that difficult. So there we go. It appears to be back in. Eh, Mm, decent shape, <laughs> but at least you know there's no more grime on the contacts and there's no more grime you'll be able to touch on the outer side of the case or anything like that. So yeah, that is a uh, super cleaning as far as I can tell. I mean, I, don't, I just really don't want to start curving into this just to get out these black marks in the scratches. That just doesn't, yeah. So I'm going to, I guess, leave those. Maybe it's not... A super, super clean then. <laughs> but I don't think I have the right tools to even be able to get into scratches so fine. Hmm, maybe if I left alcohol sitting there for a while. I don't know. I don't know. But the main thing is that you want to clean out the inside and uh, the outside as best you can. Just so that it's not getting everything grimy or the contacts are horrendous and it's difficult to play the game in general or there's corrosion on the inside but yeah that is how I would super clean a game and obviously I'd be able to do it a whole lot faster if I wasn't on camera <laughs> thanks for watching and I'll see you later